All right, welcome back to Conscious Evolution. I'm your host, AJ. I was just setting the camera up here. I felt like I needed to make a video about whatever the universe wants to tell me in this book, Solomon Speaks. So I set it all up, and then I look over at the computer, and it just turned 11-11. So, yeah. I just turned the camera on. So there'll be just enough time, just enough battery, and to to record just what I need to say. And I don't know what I need to say yet, but we're gonna find out. All right, all right. Let's take all my notes and stuff out of here. Any bookmarks I got? Just that was one I was gonna read last time, but I got pulled away from it. Oh, there's another one. Right, no more bookmarks. All right, before we get started, hit the like button. Just do it. Thank you. I'm so exhausted. I don't know why I'm doing this. The clock at 11:11, the exact second I had everything set up and ready to go. And I was doubting myself, and then I looked at the clock and it said 11:11. So, this is what I'm meant to do. And we're going to do it. All right, universe, what do you have to tell me today? We find ourselves in interaction with others. Interesting. This is Solomon Speaks. So I don't know what chapter it is. We find ourselves in interaction with others. You know what? I got the time. Maybe. We're going to read it. Chapter 15. We have ourselves in interaction with others. There we go. We have you in our hands. We will be here to help you in this space where you are presently situated. We feel your energy here, helping those around you. You have been asked to be present in your life. You are here because of your need to reach out. Oh my God. The universe doesn't lie. It will not lead you astray. Your life will help accomplish unfinished business in this space. We care greatly for your needs. Your life has been here innumerable times. Innumerable. Innumerable. <laughs> your life has been here innumerable times. You're here because your energy draws you together. Your life is of a greater sphere of influence than you are presently aware. It is coming to you on a different plane and will be unveiled to you as you progress as you blah, 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 and will be unveiled to you as your progress continues forward your energy is of a greater life force that is coming through you your thoughts are your energy manifest it will lead you to your instinct your instinct is the sum total of your lives experience lives plural multiple lives that's interesting it is the Encyclopedia of Humanity. You only need to access this and it will become clear to you as you do it. You only need to reach out to others to understand. Your mission comes in interaction, not isolation. Your definition of your life is, is, is in your ability to open it to others. That is what allows greatness to enter into your soul. You're presently only seeing a fraction of the greater you that exists. For you to become complete, understand that the harmony within the rhythm of your life is created by the ability to harmonize with yourself in its entirety. You must connect with that which is, in your life, the greater life. Often we see segmented personalities without the contact of their greater soul. You'll begin to recognize these segmented personalities, and your mission will be to help 
integrate them. Interesting. I feel like we just integrated Jody Reiki Medium 333. I'm good at videos done running. I feel like we just integrated her with her her mediumship, her her guides, her path, her spirit realm. You and your mission will be to help integrate them to let them understand that there's a greatness in every individual and it is for their discovery that paths are to, uh, are created. There are many paths, but you must show them the way. Find a path. They will proceed. There is never a wasted moment if you access the energy behind it. So no matter where you begin, it will lead you to the place you need to be. You only need to begin. Children's struggles to survive in this world are becoming increasingly more difficult. Look into the eyes of a three-year-old and viewpoint. The viewpoint of a child as it becomes initially aware of the larger space and leaves that which is instinct. It's very clear as children progress, as they're born, they are in touch with this greater self. There comes a transition in a child's life where they have to abandon that knowledge and root themselves in this plane. Much is lost so that can be learned and then reaccessed later in life. But in order for that, oh my God, that is exactly what I needed to hear. Much is lost so that much can be learned. And then reaccessed later in life. I mean, that's so true. That's what that's what it is, man. You, 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 you. I don't feel like you can grow up knowing this truth. I feel like I get, oh man. But in order for them for it, but in order for them to really understand the lessons in this plane, they have to let go of the encyclopedia they brought with them. It's a closed book test. I think you might want to look at the transition. Regarding transitioning human life, we are all aware that of that passageway, that door we step through to eternity. There is a transformation that occurs. It is inevitable for all. It's the loss, of course, that we all regret. There is a need to really process loss and not deny it. There is a leave-taking that never dies. Love never dies for those who are gone. There isn't, that isn't the loss. The loss is of that relationship rooted in the reality of this plane. It's like comfortable furniture. You don't want to give it up because it's so easy to burrow into, but there are new chairs and new lives to come into contact with. I don't try to interfere with processes that you need to discover in your life. I cannot tell you what is right for you in your life in terms of another human being. I cannot tell you what is right for your life in terms of another human being. I can only tell you to listen to the music that's in your soul when you're with that person. If that person makes you unhappy or you feel thwarted, if you feel thwarted, 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 do you believe that's a good person for your existence? I mean, this is so dead on what I needed to hear right now. Unbelievably. I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to be this. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> like, really? Come on. Oh, man. All right, where am I at? Experience the happiness and put the rest to the side. Don't try to project. Be with that moment. And if it should become a greater moment in terms of your understanding, it will unveil itself. But don't try to manipulate it into something that you don't believe you need to have. What you need to have is joy in your life. The joy does not come in a person. The joy is in your life. Your life has gone through incredible obstacles to remind you that the greatness of the universe does exist in you. 
I believe that the question that everyone must ask in relationships are, A, do I believe I am perfect in this relationship as a person? Do I believe that I am complete? And B, does this person respect that belief system and me? Wow. I mean, think about that for a second. Do I believe I am perfect in this relationship as a person? Do I believe that I am complete? And a lot of you probably said yes right there, but I mean, really? Like, are you fully complete? Are any of us fully complete? Look at that. Does this person respect that belief system and me? The person I'm with doesn't respect anything about me and hasn't for a long time. Am I perfect in, the, in this relationship as a person? No. Nobody's perfect. Do I believe I am complete? For the most part. But no. I got a lot of work to do yet. Does this person respect that belief system in me? Not at all. Fuck. <laughs> if you find yourself looking to find someone to make you complete, it's the wrong relationship. But you do need to be validated. But you do need to be validated. There are... Now, these are two separate issues. You must believe that your heart is whole. And if the relationship you're in makes you feel unwhole, isn't constructive to your growth. If you feel that your heart is in pieces, your pain has been present to give you the great understanding to help those around you. You have greatness inside of you. You can't allow people to deny that in you. And if they feel or if you feel they are denying it, then you have to examine that. There are some people who only allow their self-esteem to grow by stealing it from others. This is sort of a litmus test of relationships. If you find that this is the case, you're in a corrosive relationship. If it is corrosive, it is not beneficial to your growth. This can be altered in your belief system of yourself. Your pain has not been for naught. The compassion you carry for others flows very deeply because you have been there. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Been there and back and back again. Don't let anyone or anything deny you that knowledge. Easily said. <laughs> yeah, it is easily said. A lot of things are easy. <laughs> A lot of things are easily said. Can't talk right. You need to allow yourself time for just pure energy to flow through you. You need to. I am not speaking of isolation here, but you need to find moments where you can attune yourself to the universe. There needs to be in your life very still. Quiet moments where you recognize your beauty. You must take those moments and relish every second of them, and your life will grow. The important thing is to continue to reach out and not isolate Sometimes we feel that in isolation we find ourselves. It is not the case. We find ourselves in interaction with others. That is why we are not born on a desert island. <laughs> yeah, okay. Touche. We are here to involve others' lives in our lives. We are here to involve other lives in our lives. To invite them in. The lessons to be learned are in that interaction. There may not be words that can be expressed, but your love of life can be conveyed, your love of the lives around you. This is what carries people on, their ability to love. When people lose that ability, they fester and die inside. Concentrate on the love. When you are results oriented things will not appear immediately for you know where the love is in your life 
that's where your answers lie. In your ability to decide in your life where your love is. That's the path. All the rest will fall into place for you. For instance, those ties that you have to your family are the most visceral ties you have in this plane. They produce not only your lives, but your intent in this presence we speak of is life. They give you the mission, the circumstances in which you are guest, you've chosen. So they give you the mission you've chosen. I don't know what that other, that just confuses me. Those ties that bind are the most crucial and unexpected rewards come from their fulfillment. You come here to be part of their lives. You've chosen them. You're emotionally tied to them. You have much to learn from them. They are not going to be here much longer, and neither are we. You, they. You must try to draw from them their experience in love. Ask them about the loves of their lives. You'll learn very much. Not necessarily people, but what do they love in nature? Ask your mother about the things she loves in this life. Within all these relationships, where is their love? There will be some deep answers revealed. That, that is what's great that we have in common, that we love. When you share that greatness, you evolve on a much higher plane. We spend so much time talking about what we hate, it's juvenile. In love and family, doors open. The same thing with your grandparents. Ask them what they've loved in this life. What do they love? It sounds corny, but it won't be. Be very open with them and express to them what you love. You will change everything. Allow them to see who you are. I will be with you, urging you on. been a very difficult couple of days for me and I just felt compelled all day today to read something out of this book this literally addressed every every issue I've had today yesterday this past few days everything Yeah. Wow. The universe does not disappoint. My guides, my higher self, the three people following me around, the three entities following me around that, that Jody spoke of. You all have your own people following you around to make sure you get what you want out of this experience. Once your eyes are open to it, once you start on the path, everything you're looking for will be revealed to you. Trust that. Believe that. Love. And if you can't love, examine why you can't love. Examine who you're in your relationships with. Do they love you? Are they complete? Do they love themselves? Because if they are about self-sabotaging and you're about self-love, that obviously isn't going to work out. Things may change later on, but right now, I mean, we're going through an ascension. I mean, there's big shifts happening here. The veil to the spiritual world is thinning, and we're all becoming more in tune with it. And anyone that's not whole, that doesn't love, 
are of a lower vibration. And again, there, there's something for you to glean from that. There's something for you to learn. Maybe they're triggering you. Like the person I'm with triggered me this morning. To the point where I, I just wanted to scream. But I couldn't. Because it's useless. It's literally useless to scream at this person. Doesn't accomplish anything. And they're so busy sabotaging, sabotaging their own life that nothing I say is going to change that. I've come to the terms with as far as forgiving them. I forgive them because I can't do anything. I can't change them. If you're going to change from that kind of lifestyle, you have to want to do it. You have to fall hard. Some people have to fall harder than others before they can start picking themselves back up. This person I'm dealing with is, is just falling and falling and falling. There's no bottom in sight. It's just a bottomless pit, a black hole they're falling into. And I thought the bottom was getting close, but I've thought that many times before over the past several years and I keep staying staying in this situation because I have very limited options to go other way wow man you don't even you have no idea how much that chapter just spoke to me just wow wow I hope you guys got something out of that like I just did because I felt like there was a reason I was sharing that with other people and sharing my story with you as well. That's powerful stuff here. I got shit I need to work out. Whew. All right, guys. I love you. Hope you enjoy your weekend or enjoyed your weekend. By the time I get this out, it'll probably be Monday. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. I love each and every one of you. Be the change you want to see in this world. You know, tomorrow, today, whatever it is you see this video, smile at a random stranger. Just go smile at them. Could completely change their day. Could completely make their day. Smile at them, say hi, hold the door for somebody. You know? It's little things, little random acts of kindness. You have no idea what the people around you are going through in their lives. What you see is someone being in your way or holding you up from doing whatever you think is important that you need or feel like you need to rush and do. You could be the person holding them up. You could be the one interfering with them, you know, needing to get to the store to get their their husband's or wife's cancer medication. Or, or you know, they're going to see their mother in a hospital that's on life support. You have no idea what's going on in other people's lives. Everyone's so damn impatient. I work at a dealership. All I see is all day is people honking the horn at each other. Screaming and shit. Knock that shit off, man. You gotta be good to one another. You gotta love one another. Stop watching the news. The news is designed to bring your vibration down. That's why you feel like shit when you watch the news for a while. You get all tense, you get anxiety. There's enough stuff in this world that, that'll do that to you. A lot of it's probably people you're having personal relationships with. You know, someone close to you in your family. There's plenty of things to work out without adding to it on your, your entertainment, your leisure time. The time for yourself, you choose to watch shit that gives you anxiety and stresses you out. How does that make any sense? That's self-sabotage there.
All right, I'm done ranting. I love you guys.